Begin in the ACC in a wicked fat semifinal. Number two, Duke. Number 13, Maryland. Game one this year, Duke erased a 10 point deficit in a minute. Game two, Terps outscored the Blue Devils by 16 the last eight minutes of the game. Game three, just as intense. Second half, Duke comes out being the bomb. Chris Duhon, I ain't gonna say that job, but that ain't right. Duke started the second half with a 19 2 run after starting the game, missing their first 11 shots. Maryland comes back. Danny Miller spots up. Three. That's blazing. Chokes trying to win their first ACC crown since 1984. Next Duke possession, Mike Dunleavy getting his on. He only shot two for 12 Friday, 0 for 5 in the first half, but he blew up in the second half. Duke up two. Terrence Morris goes to the hole. Chris Sanders there for the block. Was it goaltending? That sets up Dickie V and Mike Patrick. The final 13 seconds of the game, Duke by three. And Blake will take it. Oh, what a shot! I mean, Mike, what a big play by Mr. Blake. Now Duke for the chance. Williams down the lane. Mr. Oh, Shumas to go! Give by Nate James! Give by Nate James! What a finish! Dixon to win it! Oh! Oh! It's awesome, baby! What a Coach K thought Dixon's last second three was good. Nate James with the mad tip in. Nate was one for nine shooting on senior night in Durham when Maryland beat Duke in Durham. Duke snaps Maryland's six game winning streak. Shane Battier, who's your daddy? Battier, 20 points. He has been part of an ACC record, 124 wins in his four years at Duke. Duke now is trying to be just the third team in 48 years to win three straight ACC titles. As with the other two Duke Maryland games this year, Heels led by four at the break. Joseph Forte went silly nutty in the second half. Tony Akins needed to check his ankles because they got broke. Forte played the last 11 minutes with four fouls. Get at 27 points. Eight minutes left. Jackets down three. TJ Vines. Oh, y'all got to give me that. Hey, don't blink on G Tech. Seven wins this year over top 25 teams. Forte couldn't get that one on his rear end to Haywood. Back to Forte. Money. Forte also had 12 rebounds. It's only 6-3. Heels up three. Late third. Ronald Curry rolling out. Finds Jason Cable. 27-yard touchdown pass. Curry had six touchdown passes this past season. Cable had 11 points in this game. Heels win at 70-63. to Jackets made this one tight. In Illinois, Mike Davis, there's drama in this one. 58-56, Tom Coverdale misses two free throws. Loose ball. Frank Williams got it. Perhaps the best player in the Big Ten, Frank Williams, going for the game-winning hoop, and no, swatted away by Kirk Haston. Let's look at it again, and perhaps we need to go up with the left hand. No foul, a clean block by Haston. Coverdale gets the rebound, and Mike Davis is Hoosier upset. The fight in Bill South of Illinois, 58 to 56. Both the Big Ten coach champs get out. Illinois, Michigan State upset in the number one seed in the Midwest. Who knows? Hoosiers make the conference tournament final for the first time. Two wins this year after just one total of the previous three. The Illini undone by 33% shooting. Penn State swept the state of Michigan. Now it's on to Iowa in the other Big Ten semi. Be Reggie Evans working down low. Rebound opportunity sticks it back. Iowa, serious glass work. Later in the first half, Evans again, a rebound. The junior college transfer from Coffeyville. Same Juco that produced Jack Buns. 18 rebounds for Evans. Iowa up 16. Second half, more Evans down low. Thank heavens for Reggie Evans. He had 30 points, and Iowa advances. They win at 94 7 for Evans ends Penn State's run pretty much by himself. 30 points, 18 rebounds. Nittany's is a team, 18 rebounds. The Hawkeyes outboarded them by 30. Most hit jumped out of the blocks early. Ricardo Greer. Oh, I see you, player. Greer had a game high, 18 points. And he can jump. BC would wake up. Puka, Agby, low post jumper. Oh, that tickled the twine. Agby, 13 points. Later in the half, off the inbounds, Jonathan Beerbomb, W-E-F-U-N-K, we funk. That ended a 22-3 BC run. Then Ryan Sidney with the steal. Start the break. Beerbomb missed the layup. Kenny Walsh at his back. Eagles up eight. Eagles show no mercy. Kenny Harlan. Sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Harley at 10 points. BC goes to the big dance with the Big East Championship under their belts. They won it 79-57. Icing on the cake for Boston College as they were the only team to ever go from worst to first in the Big East and now win the tournament title as well. With the win, BC should be looking at a number two seed as they won their three conference tournament games by an average of 21 points.
Gators in the semis for the first time in Billy Donovan's five years. Jason Holmes nailing the three, 64-57 reps. Udonis Haslam can do things. Grabs the offensive four. Florida is down three. More Haslam because I'm telling you what, stopping him is a man's man's job. Scored inside, tied at 65. Haslam 20 points, 14 rips. Ole Miss up one less than three to play. Raheem Lockhart says his team sticks together like glue. Oh yeah, pace to victory here, 68-65 Ole Miss. They're up one with less than 25 to go. Justin Reed, freshman this time of year. They're worth more than just carrying video equipment. Reed led the team with 15, and Ole Miss wins at 74-69. Rebs win their ninth straight and reach the SEC title game for the first time since 1990. Ole Miss defense locking down, allowed just four points over the last 425. Senior Jason Flanagan hitting three free throws late to ice it up. That's what seniors do. Who wants Ole Miss next? Arkansas, Kentucky. First half, 31-21, Arkansas. Joe Johnson to Brandon Dean from way out. Whoa, Pig Suey, that had good height, 34-31. Favor Arkansas, second half, five-point lead for the Hogs. Keith Bogans, got teammates, just doesn't need them all right here on this play. He had 23, Arkansas's lead is cut to three. Later, Kentucky's pulled ahead by five. Bogans, Tayshawn Prince, Marvin Stone with the rock. Kentucky wins at 87-78. The Cats make up for a regular season loss to the Hogs, improved to 31 and one all time in SEC semifinals. And I don't know since the conference went to division, so they're number 10 Kansas. First half, Kansas up seven. Drew Gooden gets it inside. Gooden shot two of nine. That, that doesn't count either way. That's, that's not basketball, that's a horse shot. Less than two minutes ago in the second. Sweet ball moving by the Sooners. And the Lord said you got to rise up. Kelly Newton, 17 points, five of 12 from deep. Less than 36 left. Last chance for Kansas. Kirk Heinrich couldn't get it done from three. Ball gets knocked around. Kirk Heinrich can't get it done from three. OU, Sooner Power. They're going to win it 72 to 57. Oklahoma tried real hard to lose this. They only shot eight of 28 from the land of three. Shot just 32% overall for the game. Had no block shots to four for Kansas. Even got out rebounded. But, big butt. Doing the butt. I'm sorry, uh, they got the W. Baylor, number 22, Texas. Darren Kelly, the dish to Chris Owens. Chris Owens rips the rim. He had 23, Texas up 10 at the break. Second half, Baylor down 12, a look out to Marcus Miner. Long alley oop to Terry Black. Hello. Miner had six assists. Baylor staying close. The pass down court to Black. This kid has some mad ups. He had 17, Baylor down nine. But Texas pulls it away. Maurice Evans. Closure. He had 20. Everybody needs closure in their psychological life. Texas wins at 76-62. Longhorn took them horns. Big enough at the right time. They've won eight straight games. They do this with defense. They held Baylor. Stanford up 17. And Jaron Collins, he's young and athletic. Nice stick back. Stanford up 19. Stanford now in transition. You like when they run. Look at Jake Summit. Oh, yeah, the floor is your friend. The ball bounces. Stanford led 53-32 at intermission. After getting fresh towels, Jacobson. Good. He had 21 points. Stanford wins at 99-75. And the fans, they're pleased. They won at home. They won at home. And there's a big piece of asparagus on the court. Cardinal come back after the loss to Arizona. That's a spinner. There, no, it was definitely asparagus sprig. Arizona get win number 28. They clinch their third straight Pac-10 championship. No biggie. They've done that before in the 30s. Stanford finishes with the best regular season record in the country. Alton Mason, Sun Devils' only senior, goes out with 23 in his final collegiate game. Arizona can't get a share of the title then, but they can get a piece of Cal. Chante Leggins at a good height. Cal goes up 72-71. Later in the second, we're tied at 74. Jason Gardner, if you get tired of watching him, go ahead and guard him. Arizona up 77-74. Six seconds left. Cal down two. Sean Lampley got a chance to be a hero and tie this thing up. Mm. Not good to chant air ball if you're the sportscaster. 78-76 is the final. Zona is rolling. Six straight wins, 15 and two. To Brian Brown, gonna hit from way out. Washington up one, 92-91. Now Washington puts the 10 in the Pac-10. Bottom of the heap. Inside, Earl Watson outside Billy Knight. He had 16. UCLA up 94-93. We got drama. Three seconds left. Greg Clark, the inbounds. Johnson for another three. Thank you. Yeah, he loves the Lord too. Washington wins at 96-94. Johnson scored 29. Good day to be Bob Bender. Bruins started the day hoping for Mexico, BYU. McKeeley Wesley down low and hits. 
but all scores with 30. Now Lobo's down by four, come right back, Marlon Palmer. Lobo's down one, under 10 left, they're down by two. Palmer for the go ahead, three, no! For BYU, their first NCAA appearance since 95, their 19th overall. BYU's Nikili Wesley named tournament MVP. He's the Mountain West Player of the Year as well, by the way. Lobo shoots 40%, BYU 57. This game is whack. Hawaii, Tulsa, second half, under a minute to go. Tulsa by one, Dante Swanson. Tulsa by three, under 10 seconds. Hawaii down to Carl English. The tough leader were in overtime. Mary Puda for three. Squish. Hawaii by one. Later, Hawaii still up by one. Carl English. Career high 25. Hawaii by four. Under a minute to go. Tulsa gets to within three. Marcus Hill, good luck, but no. Hawaii's a winner. Their second WAC championship. Their first trip to the Sandy Hawkins since 94. Game Temple and UMass. Quincy Wadley. Moments later, Wadley. He had 20. More Temple. Lynn Greer. He had 20. Temple by 12. Second half. UMass making a run. Eric Williams. Little jump hook there. UMass within one. Four minutes left. Temple by five. Greer's going to lose the ball. Going to get it back. Throw it up. Get fouled. Bruiser Flint. Nah, he wants to travel. He wants something there. Second straight conference title for the Owls. They have Enzo's four straight title game losses. John Calipari's Minutemen in the 90s. John Cheney going to the tournament for the 12th straight year. Conference USA title game from Freedom Hall. Charlotte, Cincinnati, first half. Kenny Satterfield for three. He led the Bearcats with 18. Later in the first half, Donald Little inside. Cincinnati up 40-35 at halftime. Second half, though, it's an 11-0 49ers run. Damone Brown off the bench for three. Bob Huggins, your thoughts? Thank you. Charlotte goes inside. Ken K. Jones double team for two. Make it three. He led the Niners with a career high 18 points. And Charlotte takes the Conference USA automatic bid. 49ers out rebounded the Bearcats 45-29. Charlotte gets its second win in the Conference USA title game. This was their fourth appearance in five years. It's Cincinnati's first loss in three trips to the championship game. Norman Richardson and Hofstra try to win the American East Tournament title for the second straight year. Pride take it on Delaware first half. Richardson, the conference player of the year, shows why. He had 20. Hofstra by four at halftime. Second half, Roberto Gittens with a patient turnaround, and the Gittens is good. Two of his 17. Hofstra up 58-52. Later, it's Jason Hernandez, one of seven seniors on this team, trying to beat the shot clock. Knocks it down, and Hofstra punches their ticket. 68-54. Wasn't all speedy Claxton last season. Hawk Washington first half. Marcus Carr all by himself. He had 13 points and 9 assists. He is the nation's assist leader, by the way. Still first half. Carr, the steal. Gets it to Carl Holmes to beat the buzzer. Holmes at 11 points. Cal State up 42-28 at halftime. In the second half, Marco McLean to Brian Heinley. Finally, 21 points. He was the tournament MVP. Bobby Braswell raising the roof. Cal State Northridge wins the fifth different team this season to qualify for its first ever NCAA tournament gig. Matadors win the Big Sky title game after losing to Northern Arizona last year. They are the third different team to win the Big Sky Conference tournament in the last three seasons. Big West final, Pacific and Utah State. Early first, Utah State running. Sean Daniels, the steal. Looking for Bernard Rock. Utah State leads at the half by 10, 25-15. Second half, Utah State up by seven. Rock, squish. State by 10. Next possession, Curtis Bob. That's with two Bs. Actually, three. I thought, I, I thought you meant right next to each other. That's what I thought Not you meant. in a row. Wins conference title for the second. Southland Conference final, McNeese State. Damon Mallett tries to intercept, but Northwestern State Josh Hancock recovers. Hits the three. Game tied 66. 110 to go. Northwestern State on the fast break. Hancock again. 
Western State by two. Hancock had 14 under 15 seconds to go. Northwestern by two. Brown drives, misses. Byers Dawson the rebound, gets fouled. Dawson wouldn't make both free throws. Northwestern State going to the dance for the first time in school history. The first Southland Conference title in 14 years in the league. They lost in the title game last year. Swack tourney title tussle, Alcorn State the three, Alabama State the one early first half. Jeff Cameron finding Walter Harper, Alcorn State up 13 at halftime, but they went through a 12-minute stretch of the second half with only one field goal. Keith Gamble, the rainbow, an 11-0 Alabama State run, Gamble finished with 12. Alabama State started to pull away, Joey Ball steals, and he will finish. 14 for Ball, and the Hornets win 64-52. Alabama State making its first ever trip to the NCAA tournament. They also won the SWAC regular season championship. Now, Hornets coach Rob Spivey has to hope he doesn't get stuck with Tuesday's play-in game in Dayton, Ohio. Say you, say MEAC. South Carolina State Bulldogs against the Hampton Pirates. Anthony Cleveland Davis gets the pass, and oh, man. Pirates up by six. First half, great D by the Buckeyes. Hampton forces the Bulldogs into a shot clock violation. Second half, more great Pirate D. Harris Williams rejects a Greg Gray shot. Second half, Pirates by 12 in control. Marcellus Brown steals the ball. The Pirates reach the NCAA tournament for the first time. Only six years after they joined D1 as they beat the defending champ.